Hi, friends. Let's learn with MG, stories, poems, learning magic. Kids, today we are learning useful insects, harmful insects and life cycle of insects. So let's start. Ever wondered how tiny insects can be both our friends and sometimes, a little trouble? Let's find out. Glowing star good insects, our little helpers. Did you know some tiny insects are super useful to us? They give us honey, help pollinate flowers, and even fight off harmful pests. How honeybees help us. Honeybees are amazing. They make delicious honey that gives us energy. People raise bees in artificial beehives to collect large amounts of honey. Beekeeping and apiary. These beehives are placed in a big open space called an apiary. Beekeepers take care of the bees and collect the honey with care. Beeswax and its uses. Bees also make beeswax. It's used to make candles, polish, and even some furniture shine. So cool, right? The science. Apiculture. The whole process of raising honeybees for honey and wax is called apiculture. It's a big part of farming in many places. Pollination magic. When a bee visits a flower, pollen sticks to its body. As it flies to another flower, the pollen is transferred. This is called pollination. Helping nature and us. Thanks to pollination, plants grow fruits and seeds. So bees not only give us honey, they help our crops grow too. Next, harmful insects. Ever wondered how tiny insects can be both our friends and sometimes, a little trouble? Let's find out. Let's meet some tiny creatures that create big problems. Yup, we're talking about harmful insects. Bug prohibited. Houseflies. Yuck. Houseflies sit on garbage and spread yucky diseases like cholera, typhoid, and dysentery. Always cover your food. Cockroaches. Ew. Cockroaches crawl over utensils and uncovered food, spreading germs everywhere. Don't let them sneak into your kitchen. Mosquitoes. Ouch. That mosquito bite isn't just itchy. It can spread dengue and malaria. Always sleep under a mosquito net. Lice. Scritch scratch. Lice live in your hair and suck your blood. They cause itching and scalp infections. Time for a good shampoo. Termites. Oh. Termites are hungry for your furniture. They chew up wood and can damage your house. Watch out. Bedbugs. Not bedtime again. Bedbugs hide in your bed and bite while you sleep. Their bites cause rashes and skin irritation. Gross. Locusts. Look up, it's a swarm of locusts. These flying munchers attack in big groups and destroy crops, fruits, and fields. So kids, remember. Some insects help us, but others spread disease, itch, and even destroy food and homes. Let's stay smart, stay clean, and keep the bad bugs away. Okay, next is, life cycle of insects. Let's start with butterfly life cycle. Life cycle begins at the egg stage. An adult butterfly lays eggs in clusters on the underside of leaf. These eggs are attached to leaf using sticky substance that glues the egg to the plant leaf. Hence they do not fall off the leaf. Inside each egg, something magic is about to happen. Next, the egg hatches into a caterpillar. The young one that hatches out of the egg is called a caterpillar. The caterpillar is worm-like and looks very different from an adult butterfly. It is used to chew leaves. Since caterpillars eat a lot of leaves, they grow quickly. This growth leads them to shed their skin and grow new layers of skin over and over again once the caterpillar has grown. It stops eating. It forms a protective case around itself, known as a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar slowly changes its shape. This stage of its growth is called the pupa stage. Then, ta-da, the adult butterfly emerges. In the adult stage, the caterpillar finally becomes a butterfly and breaks out of its chrysalis. In this stage, the butterfly looks very different from the caterpillar. It rests, spreads its colorful wings, and takes to the sky. Wow it looks so different from caterpillar. Other insects like silkworm, moths, honeybees, ants and beetles go through the same four stages too. But not all insects have four stages. Some like cockroaches, grasshoppers and lice have just three stages. It's egg nymph adult. The nymph stage is between the egg stage and the adult stage. A nymph stage looks similar to the adult, but it is much smaller and does not have wings. This is how life cycle of insects goes. That's all for today, in next video we will learn social insects and crawlers. See you soon bye and don't forget to subscribe my channel.